In one of my previous videos, I talked about the NASA 32 and the D4R2 um, receiver and the telemetry along with the Tyrannus. And the screen ended up looking something like this with your overall cell voltage here, your individual cells here, your RSSI number there. And this is a uh, altitude from the uh, from an acro, from not an acro NASA 32, uh, actually a full one, which is kind of cool. And I put these in here just to have these extra numbers. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up so it looks more like this, where you got your the top one here again is your cell voltage, the bottom one or the middle one is your overall battery, and the bottom one is a timer. Now on this screen, I actually got this one set up so that the voltage goes down, the overall battery pack goes down, and the timer counts up. So if I turn this throttle up above zero, again you'll see this number start going up and increasing. And this goes from zero to five, and these uh, thresholds here and the lower thresholds are all configurable. So to set up the bars, the first thing you want to do is go to your menu, find your uh, tricopter or your multi-rotor, whatever it is, and you want to hit hold down the page button and it'll go backward to the telemetry page. On this one, we want to come up here. And what we're going to do is just set this up on screen uh, two. Now your screen one, I'll show you this is my screen one here, and it has a screen one and it says NUMS. NUMS means, of course, numbers, and I have the cells, the cell, the RSSI, the altitude, and then these ACC numbers. Now on screen two, what I did is I actually changed these I changed NUMS to bars, so bars means it actually is going to show you the bars. And I set cell here, and I set where I want the low end of the cell to be, and the high end of the cell. So I know a fully charged cell is 4.2 volts, and I usually try to land about 3.3 volts, more or less. Then the overall, on the cells, I got this set, the low end set to 10, which is really just 3.3 times 3 cells. And I got the high end set to 12.6 because I'm fully charged. 3 cell battery is 12.6 volts. Then on the timer I just have it set to 0 and 6.30. Usually because my flights last close to about 6.5 minutes so I wanted the timer to count up and when, I, when it's almost full then I know it's getting close to land too. And the advantage of having this is it's a quick visual. You can look down and see how much bar you have left instead of having to read numbers and figure it out. Again it's also easier if you just have it set up to just read you the voltage. 11.1 but sometimes it's more easy to look down at the screen if you're doing line of sight flying or you just want to do a quick look to see where you're at. So again, we'll go back and we'll look at the main screen. I'll hold down the exit button, hold down the page button, and here we are. And the first page would look like this, and page two looks like this now. And again, the cells on the, uh, cell on the top, cells in the middle, and the timer on the bottom. One more thing, even on this timer, even if it goes up past your maximum setting it'll still just start counting it here but again my bar is all the way full because my bar is only set to six minutes and 30 seconds but like i said it's still counting over here so you can still read it even if you go past that also it has the rssi built in down here on the very bottom there it is the receiver there the rssi 8786 which is pretty nice since the tricopter is just sitting right there but anyway, if you have any questions about these bars or how to set them up, leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you as best I can. I don't think it's too complicated, but it is really nice to look down and see bars, like kind of like fuel gauges, instead of having to read the numbers. Anyway, thanks for watching.